Continuing with our Ruger Mini 14 maintenance series, in this video, we'll be going over lubrication. Since the mechanics of the Mini 14 are so similar to that of the M14, we'll be using the same techniques to lubricate this rifle. For this process, you'll need a good lubricant like Brake Free and a grease like Lubriflate. We'll begin with the grease, focusing first on the receiver. Use a brush to apply grease to the slide handle track on the right side of the rifle. If you get too much in there, use a swab to remove the excess. Too much grease only attracts more dirt and can detract from the proper function of your rifle. Moving to the inside of the receiver, we'll put grease in the large area where the bolt rubs along the top. You really only need a thin layer here to prevent wear and tear. Next, the bolt lug contact points in the locking recesses in the front and left rear of the action should receive a light coat as well. With the receiver done, we'll move to the charging handle, which needs a thin layer of grease in the bolt cam recess and on the retaining lug. Moving on to the bolt, all that's needed is to lightly grease the lug areas and the top bearing surface. With the bolt greased, we'll move to the trigger group. Apply a small amount of grease to the hammer hooks and to the trigger sear. Then we can put the grease away and start oiling. Put a few drops of oil on the trigger and hammer pins, as well as the hammer spring assembly. With this done, the trigger group can be set aside. Next, we can oil the slide handle, focusing on the lower portion of the handle that rides along the barrel. As always, we'll also oil the recoil spring and guide rod and then look for any other points of contact where the original finish has been worn off. Once you've inspected the rifle closely and are sure that all wear points have been lubricated properly, the gun is ready for reassembly, and we'll be covering that in our last video.